Today a customer inquired about why we do not have Mikkel or Stanley Gibbons numbers included in EasyStamp. The simple answer is for copyright reasons. All catalog publishers diligently protect their catalog numbers and special licenses are required to use them in software, including EasyStamp. We have been licensed to use Scott numbers since 1992. Mikkel and Stanley Gibbons will not permit their use, so we cannot provide them to our customers in EasyStamp. But customers can enter the Mikkel or Stanley Gibbons number into EasyStamp on their own. You must be extremely careful to never place the cross-reference file list anywhere on the internet or otherwise the make available to anyone else. Otherwise, you will be liable to legal action by the catalog publishers. For personal use, you will be fine. The caveat is for per personal use only. Make no attempt to give these lists to friends or others. That being said, it's easy to enter alternate catalog numbers into EasyStamp. You can also rename the supplied alternate catalog number fields to suit your needs. EasyStamp provides you with up to five alternate catalog number cross-references cross that you can use. I'll show you uh, how to do uh, how to, uh, two methods to accomplish this. The first method will be to manually enter this, uh, the alternate catalog numbers yourself for each entry. You'll need to have the catalogs to be able to look up and correlate the Scott numbers to the score, uh, corresponding catalog of your choice. For this video, I'll be using the Great Britain database and entering uh, Stanley Gibbons numbers. So let's look at this stamp here, Scott number 1242. Let's say this was Scott, uh, Stanley Gibbons number 2242. All we need to do is enter the Stanley Gibbons number in the user catalog number one field and save it. So I'll enter it here as 2242. And then I will be prompted uh, with a screen to accept it. And once it's entered, I can now save it. Please note that this is not the real Stanley Gibbons number as I am showing you how to do this only. Once the number is entered, then you can look up any stamp by Stanley Gibbons number if you entered it. To demonstrate this, I'll clear the screen and then enter 2242 and it will recall the correct Scott number. So let's clear the screen and I just type in 2242 and it recalls the correct Scott number. Please note that this method will only work for stamps that have already been inventoried uh, in your collection. Another nice thing is that you can also rename the uh, user catalog numbers uh, fields to something more meaningful like Stanley Gibbons numbers. All you need to do is just left click on the label here and click on rename and we can put in SG number and I'm going to copy them to everything and click OK. So now we have a label here called Stanley Gibbons number. The second method and much faster way is to build a cross-reference file in Excel or Notepad and then import it into EasyStamp. The field and header names must be exactly as shown here. So I've already got uh, an Excel spreadsheet here kind of pre-built. These labels here, Scott number, user catalog ID 1, 2, 3, and 4 must be exactly uh, spelled out exactly this way. You don't have to fill out all four columns, just the one column that you want. The requirements are that you enter unique Scott numbers in the first column here. And then you enter the corresponding catalog number for the catalog that you're using. There must be no duplication of, of catalog numbers in either in any cell. Okay, so um, for, for demonstration purposes, all I've done here is I've added 1,000 to the Scott number to represent the Stanley Gibbons number. Again, this is, these are not the correct Stanley Gibbons numbers. This is just to show you how to do it. Once you save this file as a text tab delimited file, we can then import it. So um, let's close this up here. Okay, so now I've saved my imported uh, my my text file that I want to import. To import it, I go to the Options menu, Edit Catalog Number Formats, and then I want to select Import. And you have the option of either merging if you've already done it once, or just replace. I'm just going to choose Replace. You'll have to choose the correct method when the time comes for you to do it. 
and I select my file and now it's reading it and it's done. So now as I navigate through the database you'll see that I've got Stanley Gibbons numbers or numbers that I've uh, represented as Stanley Gibbons numbers although they are not. Okay um, so you can then recall any any Stanley Gibbons number and it will automatically show you the uh, corresponding Scott number. So if I call it 1200, that should bring me up Scott number 200. Remember I added 1000 to everything. One of the other things that you can do is um, you can also run reports and it will actually show you the alternate catalog number um, if um, if you so entered it. This is just a standard quick uh, quick stats but if we run the cross-reference report you'll see there's our Stanley Gibbons number. We can also show the image as well. There you go. So let us know if um, if you have any other videos that you would like us to create. Happy New Year's to all. That's it for now.